If you've been following Depp and Heard, you might know that Amber's got a friend named Eve Barlow. Some people say Eve's a journalist. Some people say an ex-partner. Whatever Eve is, Eve is someone who to this day is still defending Amber on X, formerly known as Twitter. This here is from August 24th, 2023, and Eve reacts to the news that Amber's not getting prosecuted by Australia. Now for me, I didn't expect anything. If it wasn't going to happen around that time or shortly after, I didn't think it was going to happen, and it didn't happen. It's unclear why. They released a very short statement. Speculation is too much time passed, but they let the time pass, so I can't make sense of it except they don't want to do it because she's Amber, and they feel they get backlash probably from certain people. But anyway, obviously, Eve must be kind of happy about it, But really, it's no surprise. It's not like something to get happy about because, wow, I didn't expect this. It's just like, eh, now it's official. So Eve replies to USA Today, laugh out loud. She was never going to face jail time. Amber pleaded guilty for the perjury and smuggling charges. And after submitting multiple positive character references and displaying good behavior, the judge accepted her plea, get your facts straight. Well, at least Eve is saying Amber did it. And isn't that the point here? We're saying, look what she did here, and there's no punishment. So what's so funny about it? What's there to be happy about? Well, my friend smuggled in some dogs, committed perjury, lied. Ha ha ha. She's not getting jail time. All right. That's like what a teenager brags about. When I was like, I don't know. 14. Yo, I stole these PlayStation games. 60 bucks each. I'm not getting caught. Then I'm telling people my friend didn't get caught for stealing some games. Ha ha. Look how cool we are. That's how it sounds to me. Yeah, all right. When you're in high school or whatnot, maybe it is cool. But after that, you kind of grow up and say, "Uh, my friend committed a crime. She got off the hook. That's kind of corrupt. Unjust. Not right, whatever you want to say. But of course, I bet Eve's pretty happy. Not much immaturity here, is there? Also, Eve's been talking about some things that have been happening recently. Some things I actually skipped, so let's get into that too. Eve says this here about Camille Vasquez. I thought she had a job. Well, yes, I think she does have a job too. All Camille did was go and access Hollywood and talk about the Netflix film made on Depp and Heard, which is another thing I didn't talk about. I don't know, I just felt like it wasn't big news. We've seen this before with a documentary, not from Netflix, but I couldn't really think of anything I'd really add to the conversation. But of course, Eve's got to take a stab at Camille still to this day. So Eve says this about the actual documentary, so like a fable. I haven't seen it. Maybe I should, but I don't support Netflix, so probably not going to. Basically, the director didn't want to interview Depp and Heard for the film. That might be because she couldn't. It's not like they'll just interview anyone. And honestly, for different reasons, of course, I don't think Amber or Johnny would have done it. So she probably says, well, I didn't want to anyway. Can't imagine why not. That would have probably actually boosted it up. I mean, if you don't want to see the crappy take on it we've seen a hundred times, you might at least want to see new footage of Johnny. And some people, new footage of Amber. So I got to call out probably an excuse there. She wanted to make an impression without using interviews or experts. Well, I guess I agree on the expert part because everyone's an expert these days when they're on your side. She could have got interviews from people at the trial, but not Johnny and Amber. But then again, I still got to stick with my guns and think she probably couldn't get interviews with Johnny or Amber. M. Beatrix Kiddo answers and says, so you're saying she is guilty of perjury and smuggling. Now ask yourself what else she has lied about under oath, which is what I said. Eve isn't saying she didn't do it. And no one's saying she didn't do it. So that's the point. She did it, and there's no punishment. But we don't have a clear reason why. 
Australia is just like, well, let's let it go because I guess she's Amber. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. News is pretty slow. Should have a Dan update pretty soon. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be real sad about it, but I'll get over it. See you next time.